Hello, my name's Sean Pertwee. Hey, I'm David Mizzou. What's up? I'm Corey Michael Smith. And you're watching Click On This. And you're watching Click On This. And I'm watching Click On This. Are you? Can you do one shot? Good evening, and welcome to this episode of Click On This. This assignment has brought me back to New York City, where I'm going to be interviewing several actors that have been on a series for four seasons. This show presents a gritty city on the edge of chaos, a dark, stricken place where echoes seem to come alive, celebrating not just heroes, but menacing circumstances. Yeah, I can only be talking about one show. Come with me. Let's go talk to my friends in the cast. When you auditioned for this, did you actually audition for Catwoman? Well, I mean, I auditioned for a girl named Lucy. 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 Who's who Lucy? Was, who was? Um, they were really trying to keep it secret. Uh -huh. um, and she was a 14-year-old street thief who was an orphan, and the actress had to be good at cat movements. And um, I was pretty naive. I was like, oh, cat movements. <laughs> okay. Um, and you know, with my dance background. Uh, I thought that that was a blessing in disguise. I was just like, "Whoa! Yes. I can use my oh my dance moves. Perfect! Yeah. Oh my gosh! This is this is it. This yeah. is this is mine." Yeah. Um, so I went on the audition. Sure. I wore this like green, really sick bomber jacket. I was like, "Wow!" I wore oh I wore a cotton red tank top that was spaghetti strap with the bomber jacket and then I wore jeans and my in my combat boots totally styling man yeah. oh yeah because I was like listen if I'm gonna be a street thief she has to have a big bomber jacket well, you know I mean, yeah, and then like, you know, nicking things up the yes night. Yeah. and then the second then I got a call back and then I um, then I had the test and the test I had they asked if I had come up with a routine which I had because I wanted the job, <laughs> and um, I part of the choreography was me jumping off of um, kind of a vent. So I took a chair and I jumped off the chair, and um, the rest is history. That's, that's awesome. And listen, thank you so much for your time, thank and I you. love your makeup. You look wonderful. Thank you so much. Yeah, you got you soon. I sort of this morning it hit me at 7:30 in the morning. Yeah, it really hit me hard this morning. But you know, we did it. We got we did 100 episodes in England. We only do eight episodes a season. You know what I mean? So to do 100 in five years is extraordinary. It's amazing. You know, yeah. It's amazing. So I mean, yeah. What are your thoughts about the curtain call in the fifth season? Do you think it was long the, enough? The fifth. Yeah. We well, you know, we were lucky enough to be given uh, the two extra episodes very late in the day. Okay. Um, and the, the writers stepped up. They were they both Ben wrote a beautiful episode, and the other guys they wrote another wonderful one, which is one of actually one of my favourites. And where you, we introduce some some characters you never thought that we would. I never thought that we would actually, um, but uh, really amazing stuff. Really? So, and to get to the hundred, you know, we are we can safely now say we planted our sa you know flag in the sand, sure. and this is this generation's, this decades. Yeah. Um, version of version yeah. of the Dark Knight. And I think because it is ageless, our show. You it know, is. it's it's like sort of grim. I think it's one of the most beautiful shows out there. The yes. way you put it together, man. And the film noir lighting. You know that 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 that, that ever eternal uh, that, um, autumn feel. Mm. You, you've done a great job. Man. That's Danny Cannon. I mean, he's a visionary. All our showrunners. He's yeah. a visionary. That's what he does. And right. it's um, you know, there's a thing going around Hollywood apparently saying make it more Gothamy. <laughs> so, and you know, the guys, our, our DPs have been nominated virtually every year, yeah. you know, which is unbelievable. And you're right, the look of it, I mean, I can't believe it. We walk onto those sets, which are the most beautiful sets I've ever they been on. Are, I've done yeah. 50 movies and I, I've never seen anything like it. I mean, it's yeah. extraordinary. Sure. The scale of it, it's so operatic and the speed. We shoot an episode in eight to nine days right. and it's like extraordinary. Stunt team get nominated yeah. every year and it's like because we, when sometimes we rehearse on set. And because they know how we move, and they know what uh, the, the, they like the, the acting aspect of the fight, sure. so it's very visceral. So everything about it, I'm just insanely proud. You, you know, know what I've always wanted, though? I always wanted more time with Alfred and Penguin. Yeah, you, me too. Right? I, I mean, right? right. You Am know I what right? I mean? No, but I'm also we wanted. I wanted to have uh, a, um, an altercation because I rather like my altercations. I do all my own fights. Right. And uh, I wanted to have a fight with the Victor Zaz, and I think that was because <laughs> something happened on set where we snapped round and. <laughs> Guns went like that, and we, yeah. went, we both had the kind of, oh, not quite nice. And then we both went, this, we should do this, we should take this outside. And I was talking to, to the, like the, 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 the wonderful Anthony Carrigan yesterday about it, and it's like saying it never happened, unfortunately. But. What's up? How are you, man? It's been a while. How you been? Good to see you Good to again. see I hope you're getting this. <laughs> 
How are you, man? I know. It's like, oh my, another, another gig. Robin, how are you? I'm really good. It's good I, to see you, man. It's good to see you, too. Yes, man. What, a, Listen, what a ride. What a ride, right? Five seasons. Five seasons. Yesterday was my last day. I know. How are you feeling, man? Uh, emotional. I know. I bet. It's a really, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm like on the verge of crying about every, <laughs> like every second. I know. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I, I feel so proud. I feel uh, fulfilled and I'm also just so excited for the next chapter, whatever that may be. Of course, man. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Are you, you know, do you ever think about directing? Sure, ab yeah. a lot. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah, I just talked to Ben. I know Ben directed you in a few episodes. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And <laughs> let me tell you, he was amazing. Was he great? And also Aaron Richards yeah, well, directed right. our last episode of the entire series. Was it unreal? And she killed it. I I'm just yeah. inspired by them because like, I never thought that I would have that sort of brain, but then watching them do it and learning from them, I feel like now going forward, it would be something that I would be really? interested in. Yeah, <laughs> totally. So what's next for you, bro? What's going on? I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, hopefully uh, film me something in February, yeah. and then now I'm just like auditioning. And I've been yeah. telling everybody too, this is the first time in my life, thanks to Gotham, yes. that I'm approaching my career without fear. I love it. And I, and it's purely from a creative place, I and I've it. never had that opportunity before, and for I will real. be forever grateful. Forever grateful. For the people that put me here, for giving me that. Robin, so. it's fantastic. And dude, it's so good seeing you again. You too, yeah, man. Here. You be Pleasure. safe. I'll talk yes. to you again, right? Take yes. care of yourself. Sounds You're going good, to take man. care. Thank you, brother. Riddler versus Penguin. Story Alliance or Planets Collide? <laughs> I had to ask. Man. I mean, the, <laughs> the best seasons are when both of those things happen, right. I guess. <laughs> uh, I, you know, there, there's always... Um, in Gotham, what's kind of great is you, you can you can declare loyalty to someone, but it's never foolproof. Right. You know, it's a twenty-four hour thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's a <laughs> there's a prenuptial agreement to every contract. <laughs> to every contract. This season, uh, there's more collaboration than there is uh, animosity. Okay. Actually, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not true. <laughs> Later in the season, I gotta yeah. like rewind right. a bit. Um, there's there are some pretty epic clashes actually. Uh, some really good scenes where where he and I are at odds. Sure. Um, where I feel like you know we've we, it's been a hell of a history between the two of us, but I feel like it's some new ground, right. especially emotionally. Like really, really. Yeah, I'm excited to see this. Yeah. Devastated people just you know trying to trying to connect with trying each to connect other. Trying to connect with each other. Yeah. yeah, dude. Listen, hey. Thank you so much for five seasons, man. Yeah. We'll see you again, right? Yeah. What are your thoughts about the, the curtain drop on the fifth season? Uh, oh, I don't I don't know. I don't really have thoughts. I'm just yeah. I'm just yesterday was a sad day. It was our last yeah. day of filming. It was right. just It was just a sad environment. Yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't well, really You made some great friends and family. I made family on the show. I know. I made really made family on the show. I'm I never know. I know. I'm 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 forever changed because yeah. of it, and uh, I I will always I will always look back on these years with the best of light, you know. I, sure. I and I'm just I'm just really happy that it happened, you know. Yeah. I'm really really I'm just I'm I'm, right. I'm I'm so grateful that I was on such an amazing show with such an amazing group of people. If there was anything that you could have added with all the seasons for your character, what could you what would you have added? Now, what I have added, yeah. I think you know what I would have done. I, I would I would love to have seen Bruce's fear of bats from a younger age. Oh, that would have been great. That's what I would have added. That would have been awesome. Yeah, dude, you heard that first, man. Heard first. Yeah, I directed uh, one a year from season three on, right. and it's really terrific to go behind the camera and to kind of understand the show from yeah. the pre-production, production, and post-production sure. phase. Yeah. Was it fun working with you know with your comrades? It was great. I mean, one of the best best parts about the job is being able to work with the actors who sure. are terrific. And given the confines of sort of the schedule of TV, they often don't have enough time to play around. Sure. And so the, the opportunity to give them time to play with things, adjust things, listen to their suggestions, let them try things out is really a joy. Sure. I also saw an episode or an interview where you said that your kids actually thought that your character was cooler than Batman. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't know if they think he's cooler, but I've been trying to convince them of that. So it's, it, it's a work in progress. So it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs>